So we have our pitching competition that's coming up next. Um, if you don't know, yes, they come a little pitching, it's long a bit too much. Tina Machi, the school must sitting at Ukshela. Because more pitch, you are selling a dream, right? You're telling more people about what you do, right? But can I see by show fairs? If you've been in a situation where you are asked, so, you are only getting an, uh, 30 seconds, one minute, they say the opportunity is gone. We believe at T that it is better to be prepared and not have the opportunity than to have the opportunity and not be prepared. So opportunity must say fake or Then the opportunity is gone. So please write this down. We're going to give you a question or four. When you get an opportunity to pitch your business, your pitch must answer la my question now or four. Question number one. The question you What problem are you solving or what service are you providing? Hi, Ikamalamu. We are solving this problem. We are providing this service. So, what problem are you solving or what service are you providing? The question is two. This is the second question. Online audience as well. This is your opportunity. We said we're global. Pitch your business online. Tell people what you do. Tell people what problem you're solving. You don't know. Your next market or client could be right there. Question number two. What is your unique selling point? So in simple terms, what makes your product stand out? Yeah? Because you're not the only one that's doing what you're doing, ain't it? So you must tell us what your unique selling point is. Is it price? Is it quality? Is it location? Question number three. What is your story? Why did you start? With Kalele in the business, what's your vision? We are happy. I said last time there's a certain shoe brand, local brand, not really big into sneakers, cause, but I love their story, so I buy their products. What's your story? Question number four. What do you need? I'm going to tell you a little what problem you're solving. What sets you apart? What's your story? Manja, what do you need? Yeah, no man got money. No, you must be very clear. Sometimes are we doing a mal? You just need mentorship. Sometimes are we doing a mentorship? We just need access to market. So be very specific. And if you need money, tell us how much you need. And how did you get there? So what do you need? And then the last question, bonus question. Entrepreneurs, we are in business to make money. I understand that. I understand that. But you are in business to make money. How do you make money? You don't have to tell us, go to Enzamali. No, this is how we make money. We buy it at this, and then we sell it at this. This is our markup. Are you with me, my brother? We are together, ne? So how do you make money? How do you make money online audience? How do you make your money? You don't have to tell us how much. The question number one was, can we say it all together? Come with me, come with me together. Question number one. Right? Or what service are you providing? The question is two. What is your unique selling point? What's different and special about what you do? What sets you apart? Thank you, my sister. The question is three. What's your story? What's your story, ne? And we all have a different story. So share yours. Because that's what will set you apart. Question number four. What do you need? 
What does your business need? Not what do you, what does your business need? And then the last question was, how do you make money? Is that helpful? Is that helpful? So when you meet someone, elevator pitch, you say, you get straight to the point. I come from this company. We are solving this problem. This is what sets us apart. This is my story. This is what we need. And this is how we make money. The one it's in the head. And it must be like that for you. And practice, practice, practice. Because I was good opportunity to figure it out. Got your five questions. Now, we're going on to the pitching competition. One of our lucky winners today and finalists is going to walk away with the grand prize of 50,000 Rand. <laughs> 50,000 Rand courtesy of NetBank. Yeah. So over the last 12, 15 months, so you, two years rather, you can do the calculations and it. 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50. You could be the lucky winner today. Over 24, 50 thousands. Right, so our first finalist is Sita Lita. Sita? So this is how it's going to happen. All right, I see you ready. Like, you're like, yeah, 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 I'm ready. I'm going to give Mike, I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready. Um, our finalist is going to come to the front. You're going to take center stage. You're going to look straight into that camera because it's a global audience. And then we're giving you two minutes. When we get to two minutes, time is up. All right? And I said to you, when you come on stage again, let's show them some love. It's All right? So our first finalist is Sita Lita. Sita, please, can you come to the front? But what Come on, man, the way some shine in Let's show some love. Center stage, sir. I am the founding director of Artist Paints. Growing up in Mushwa, I faced difficulties in accessing quality paints. That is why I founded Artist Paints to provide eco friendly, durable, and affordable paints to the communities. Our paint is made from natural ingredients so that we get rid of the air pollution and promote uh, a healthier environment. Do not take my word for it. Ask a local resident by the name of Lipati Mapuma who used our paints to renovate his home. And this is what he told me. Sita, since we use artist paints to renovate our house. My daughter is no longer suffering from lung problems. We are not just a, a social business. We are a movement to build a sustainable future. We make money selling to homeowners, DIY, as well as contractors and hardware stores using different pricing strategies for those markets. Winning the 50,000 rand for us would enable us to expand our production capacity, grow our product line, join us at Artist Paints together, begele begele. Thank you so much, Siabonga Kulu. That was our first finalist, Sita Lita.
from artist capital. Then we have Nkululego. Stabi Sombata from Kobiso Capital Nkululego. Please come on stage, my brother. Got some shy in his hand as Nkululego comes on stage. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, mother one, let's go, let's go. Imagine you just arrived at Kabeha and you are a student, but you realize that you actually need equipment for your room. And part of the equipment you need is a fridge, and you don't afford to buy a fridge. Or you are a business person and you want to open a shisana, shisanyam or an ice business, but you see that you actually need a deep freezer, but you don't want to invest so much money at the beginning. Or umaga boy, and the boy is going for his big day, umkid, and you need an extra fridge storage for that event. How about I tell you that you can actually rent a fridge, hire a fridge, or borrow a fridge. So we exist rightfully for that. Rent a Fridge South Africa exists for the convenience, and we serve our community by offering a convenient alternative um, option. So what do we need? We need a thousand fridges by the end of 2030. And that's three million. So with today's competition, we'll take the 25,000 and add 5,000 and buy additional 10 fridges. And in five years, that 10 fridges will give us 175,000. How is that possible? 350 rand rental per fridge times 10 fridges times 10 months times five. So yeah, rent a fridge, South Africa is a is, is a solution that came when we lost our bursary and we couldn't get ourselves a fridge. Then we thought of an idea of leasing out a fridge to anyone who wants a fridge. So yeah, thank you very much. Yes, sir. Hey, the time is <laughs> <laughs> Incredible. That was finalist number two, Unkulego, Stabi Sombata. Online audience, please do once again engage with us. What is it that you're taking away from the, our two finalists so far? We've still got four more to go. Also, this is your opportunity to pitch your business. All right. Next up, we have Nicole Lowe, Natural Nirvana. Please can you put our hands together for Nicole Lowe? All right. All right, let's go. Let's show some love. Let's keep the energy up. I'm loving it. 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 And in three, two, one, action. Naturally, Nirvana. All natural for natural hair care. Naturally, Nirvana is an eco friendly hair care brand aimed at inspiring individuals to love and embrace their crowns. We make use of plant-based ingredients sourced from our garden that's alleviating the fight against global warming and climate change. We are the first known hair care brand in South Africa to use our own plants in the final production of our products. Thus, it is an improvement over current methods. Our target markets are males and females of all ages. They live in the suburban and rural areas. Their races are white, colored, black, and Indian. The only drama I need in my life is my hair. That being said, our best sellers are the Hibiscus Combo, which has sold over 20,500 units since we have launched these product lines in 2022. What is my unique selling point? My unique selling point is the fact that we use plant-based ingredients in my products. Our products are always pH balanced and our quality control is always on par and we deliver consistency as well. What do I need? I need mentorship and guidance and I also need some funding to elevate my business to the next level because I am busy exporting my products and I'm busy in an exportation program which will be taking place next week in East London as well and I would love to take my products 
into the global markets. How did I start my business? I started my business with the NASFAS money that I had, and I started my business with only 500 Rand. And I believe that each and every one of us can do this by using the little money that we have and capitalizing on it and making it bigger and making an impact in our communities. I live in Shoreville in the coastal areas where cancerism is rife and I love to make a social impact in my community. So I have a project where I donate sanitary towels and have motivational speak speaking at different schools. Thank you. That was Nicole Rowe from uh, Naturally Nirvana. Yo. Sure. Right, I'm going to call up uh, our fourth finalist, Winston Litwaba from Advanced A Academy of Excellence. Winston Litwaba, please can you put our hands together for Winston as he comes on stage. Gala Simshaila Nizanda. Ladies and gents, our education system is under dire crisis, with 7 out of 10 matric learners being unable to read for comprehension. The problem that we are facing is lack of quality education as there are over 40 learners in one classroom and they can't get individualized attention. There are lack of role models in the uh, community. We don't have accountants, we don't have doctors for our children to look up to. We face also safety hazards because these children come late after school from tutoring because of abductions. Abductions happen and children get abducted every day. The solution is our advanced academy of excellence, an online tutoring academy tutored by student engineers, accountants and doctors from several universities in South Africa. What we do is we pair a student it, who wants to do a career, maybe a student wants to do engineering, they will be paid by a student engineer and they will provide mentorship on, and tutoring in that career and not only tutoring. What we do is offer our services online and face-to-face. Face-to-face, we go to schools where we have these workshops online. We use uh, online platforms like WhatsApp where we have a 24-hour group chat which includes myself as the manager, the parent and the tutors that will be tutoring. We write monthly assessments to assess the learner's progress and release reports on monthly, on monthly assessments. We have experienced about a pass rate of 93% last year with 15 learners, which is incredible. How we make our money, we charge um, a maximum of 69 rand per hour and a minimum of 49 rand per hour, which is the lowest rate I've seen so far. What we need right now is money to develop a virtual campus, which will enable all learners around the community to access our services. We need to buy equipment for when we reach these schools. We also need to provide learners with uniform and catering when we reach these schools. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Winston Letwaba. Before I call up our next uh, finalist, I'm already seeing business being done by our finalists. Because to look at the Ah, no. Maybe a pen The call is providing. Oh, yes. Banele, two more to go. Are you enjoying? Are you learning? Are you seeing opportunities to do business? This is what it's about. This is what it's about. We have Ubanele from Easy Tak Taks. Banele? Gonna show you the new as he comes on stage. Good day, everyone. My name is Banele Moi. 
and I'm the founder of Easy Deliveries. The food delivery industry in South Africa in 2024 was valued at over $2.4 billion. South Africa has over 500 townships and houses over, over 11.6 million people. 80% of these townships do not participate in that industry that is worth $2.4 billion. At Easy Deliveries, we provide the solution. What we provide at Easy Deliveries is an on-demand food delivery service in the townships. And we also have a service called Easy Tuk Tuks, which provides Tuk Tuk e-hailing service um, in the townships. The problem, um, sorry. Our unique, our unique selling proposition is that we are a software um, development company. Um, we also, um, sorry. Our unique selling proposition is that we are a software um, development company. We also use postcards when customers are ordering our food. Um, how we started the business is my sister in, in, 20, in 2022, I was sitting at home unemployed with my scooter. Uh, and my sister wanted to order Debonese, but then she couldn't order Debonese at the time as there was no food delivery service in Madhava. And it was so frustrating for her because um, she didn't want to go straight directly to the restaurant and order food. So I decided um, that I would basically use my scooter to deliver food for people who didn't want to go and collect the food themselves. So since I started the business, so sorry. Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Big round of applause, eh? Um, yeah. Thank you so much for showing him love. It's not easy being here. So I'm told I want to hambang e ailing la pumbis. Hey, banel ya kumbula ng support. Hey, congratulations, my brother. Thank you so much. Last up, we have Yandani Mdolomba from Y and M Services. Yandani is here. Let's show him some love. Ah, uh ah, -uh. yeah. This is our last finalist, Yanani from Y and M Services. My brother, the stage is yours. Right, this is the last one. Let's show some love. And in three, two, one. Yeah. Action. Uh, good morning, everyone. Um, y and M Services is a manufacturing company that manufacture cleaning products, uh, by namely dishwashing liquid, um, bleach, fiber softer. Thai cleaner um, and act. Um, I started this business in 2020 um, after my previous job that I was working as a supervisor looking after cleaners here in Kabeha. Um, upon starting YM services, I've assisted a lot of households uh, regarding their cleaning products um, because some households uh, they buy a cleaning product but they don't know how to use it. So at YM Services, we always advise on ways of using the product. Um, because you find in some households, especially where households are run by women, you find that they normally use bleach and dishwasher to, to clean their floors. But what they don't realize is that it does damage your tiles. Because in the long period of time, your tires can be damaged. So in YM services, that's why we create our own tire cleaner so that you use a effective chemical that is gonna be able to clean um, your household. Um, we supply households, we also supply um, cleaning companies. We also supply also um, mechanics because we also do engine cleaner as well. Um, at YM Services, we are currently look, looking for assistance in terms of uh, packaging, and also we want our own um, manufacturing space uh, because we're currently using um, a bedroom space. That's where we store our machines to manufacture. 
We're also looking forward to manufacture um, eco-friendly chemicals. Um, One more time, ladies and gentlemen, Kalaspashai and Nizanda, these were our six finalists. <clears throat> Absolutely incredible. You wouldn't want to be a judge, ne? No, no, uh, tough, tough job. And one of the things as well, before I introduce our next speaker, is that when, when, you, when you, one of the ways to get better at what you do is to continue to watch what you do. I get it. I get it. I get it. Oh, Lapa, no, I shouldn't have said. So, all your pictures will be on our YouTube channel that you can download, you can watch, you can share with whoever you want to share with, right? Incredible. So, now we get to announcing the winner. Lizzie, please, can you come on stage? All right, in no particular order, I would like to call up Nicole Lowe, who was one of our finalists as well, to come and get her certificate of participation. It's for you, yeah? Okay. That's it, right in the middle. Come on, let's put our hands together one more time for Nicole Lowe. Thank you, you can, you can have a seat. The next up, Nkulule goes Tabi Sombata from Kobiso Capital. Please, can you come, my brother? One more time, let's put our hands together for Nkulule Rent a fridge. Then we have Winston Letwaba from Advanced Academy of Excellence. Winston, please come, my brother. One more time, round of applause for Winston. Winston, our tutor. Yandani Mdolomba from YM Services. Please come, my brother. One more time, round of applause for Oyandani. <laughs> Last but not least, we have Bane Lemoy from Easy Tak Taks. Anele, Banele. <laughs> it's Banele, not Anele. Let's put our hands together one more time for Banele. And then we have Sita Lita. One more time, ladies and gentlemen, let's put our hands together for Sita Lita, much appreciated. All right. Zanele, please can you join us back on stage for the announcement of the winner? So I'm going to need you to, like, on my left and right next to me. Okay. All right. And then, uh, Sia, please can you come, my brother, the speakers? Bandile, please come. Our judges as well, if you were one of the judges for the pitching competition, please can you come on stage. All 
All right, we have come to that moment, ladies and gentlemen, where we will uh, announce the winner. The winner will walk away with the grand prize of 50,000 Rand. It's a blend, it's a support to it, uh, and I know it will take the business to the next level. So I need to get the biggest drum roll, um, or table roll, or... Ah, come on, Mother World, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of the pitching competition, walking away with the grand prize of 50,000 Rand is Winston Litwava from Advanced Academy of Excellence. Winston went straight to uh, uh, the charges. Winston, quickly, quickly, while you're still here. Winston, come here, quickly, quickly, while you're still here. What does this mean to you? How is this going to help your business? This means so much to me. That two minutes was very short. I've got a very long story about it. Essentially, I was in high school. My parents told me, go become a teacher. You're too brilliant at this. I told my mom, I have big dreams. I want to be a marine biologist. Years down the line, they passed away. I established the company. It's flourishing now. It's a calling. It's not just an idea. So beyond the grave, I'm sure they're celebrating right now. Come on, mother, well, one of your own. No way, no. One of your own. Winston, please, can you take center stage, my brother? Can we get a bit closer? So, closer? Yeah. All right. Please, can we look straight into that camera? Camera? There it is. Straight into that camera. One more time, ladies and gentlemen. Tell us about Shaila Nisanta. Thank you so, so much. I would like to stay uh, with uh, our winner on stage. Thank you to... You can't believe it. Congratulations, my brother. What, what we are going to do now... So, come through, my brother. Come through. We're going to take a group photo. Right? With the hands up. Our camera, please come through. Please, can everyone stand? Come through, my brother. You can, you can be right here. Now. Yeah, yeah, stand right here. Please go stand just in the Thank you, thank you, my world. Shailen is under. Give yourselves a round of applause. No, no, no. We haven't taken the photo. One last time. One last time. All right, so please just follow my instruction. I need your hands up. I need your hands up. Give us your best smile. When I say hashtag, you say join us for tea. Hashtag. 
Ah, come on, come on. I can't hear you. I can't hear you. I can't hear you. Hands up here. Yeah, here, yeah, here, yeah, here. Yeah. One, two, three, hashtag. One, two, three, hashtag together. Beke, Libeke, hashtag. Hashtag together. Beke, Libeke. Give yourselves a round of applause. Shalini Zanja, thank you. You can have a seat. We took you to church on a Saturday. Yeah, you can have a seat, my brother. 